September 17th, 2022, and this video is called Got Mutant Milk. Now, this is very interesting, and I suggest that you research this further. And actually, there was a mutation that happened about 8,000 years ago in the cows. And most likely, the speculation is that because they wanted to breed the cows to produce more milk, since they were breeding them like crazy, that this mutation might have showed up. Now, that's speculation. Now, I used to drink a lot of coffee. Then I went cold turkey. Then, now I just drink coffee on the weekends. But I've always used a milk or a creamer. But I always did think it's kind of weird that humans only drink milk as, a, as babies. And then even mammals, cows or whatever, they don't drink milk after they're born you know, as they're adults. So that's just another weird thing that, um, hey, you know, we have it. So now I, I don't drink it. I don't have to do cereal. It's just strictly for my coffee. But this is so bizarre that there's a, mu a mutant protein in the milk. Now, what I find interesting is there's one milk that doesn't have this mutant protein. Now, the normal milk that you probably find it's actually a protein there's one called a1 and a2 now because you know they want to do everything cheap the a2 you could see it in there is going to be more expensive but I, I think it's definitely worth it that's why most likely if you're drinking milk it's going to be the A1. This one, I bet you, is going to contain the A1 mutant protein. This one, you have to li literally buy where it shows you A2 on it. Now, some milk has got a, a combination of both of them, but what you want to look for is the one that is totally says only A2 on it, and that's the protein in there. Now, here, I'm going to go through some stuff here, which is pretty interesting. And if you're going to drink milk, you're better off going with the A2 variety because they say that mutant protein is maybe responsible for a lot of diseases and inflammation that we uh, encounter that causes disease in humans. Now there's a, the difference that both of those A1 and A2 proteins they're in the casein family, which makes up about a third of the proteins in human milk, but about 80% of the proteins in cow milk. So the two proteins are almost identical. They each contain 209 amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins. This is what's interesting. The only difference between the A1 and A2 is that the 67th amino acid in the chain now at this position, the A1 has a histidine amino acid, while A2 has a proline amino acid. Now the entire basis of the problem with A1 milk is that it's pesky histidine amino acid at the 67th position. That amino acid change means that the A1 protein is broken down to create a peptide which is BCM7. Now it's related to the opiate family and it, that is what has been found to have a wide range of effects in animals if injected directly into the bloodstream. Now we know that peptides can have all kinds of effects on the human body. They can affect your blood pressure, um, immune system, and how you clot your blood. Now Peptides are quite wide-ranging and powerful in their effects, but if you have this BCM7, it has been shown to, to, to have minor effects on the gut movements and the inflammation of animals. So this is the mutant protein that you want to stay away from. So go find the A2 milk. And it's in, I'm going to show which, which uh, varieties of cows they have it. But the A2, the Guernsey, is the one that has the A2. 
the Holstein is the one that you're going to have the A1 mutant uh, uh, protein in it. So check out the rest of this uh, and I think you're going to find it very interesting and do some research on your own because it, it's uh, this could be affecting your health and not even know it. So check this out. The history of A2 milk. Most cows in Africa and Asia as well as humans and most other mammals Sheep, goats, donkeys, yaks, camels, buffalo produce A2 beta casein. It's believed that until 8,000 years ago, all cows produced only A2 beta casein until the A1 variant was created by a genetic mutation among certain European cows, predominantly the Holsteins in particular. Holsteins have been routinely crossbred to other cows in the Western Hemisphere to increase milk production, and so much of the U.S. milk supply contains more than 40 to 60 percent of the A1 beta casein. Now, purebred Guernseys have approximately 90 percent chance of carrying two A2 genes, referred to as A2A2. Purebred Jerseys have approximately 50 to 70 percent likelihood of the A2A2. But much of the Jersey herds have been crossbred to Holsteins along the line. Some cows may have one A1 gene from one parent and one A2 gene from another parent, so they would have the A1, A2 and produce 50% A1 and 50% A2 in their milk. The only way to know if a particular cow is A2, A2 is to have it genetically tested. Milk proteins, including casein, are sources of peptides with bioactivity. One of the peptides is beta casomorphine, BCM, which belongs to a group of opiate peptides formed by the B casein variants. Beta casomorphine 7, BCM7, has been demonstrated to be enzymatically released from the A1 variant. Epidemiological evidence suggests the peptide BCM7 is a risk factor for development of human diseases, including increased risk of type 1 diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. Recently, a relationship between disease risk and consumption of a specific bovine casein fraction with either A1 or A2 genetic variants has been identified. BCM7 is suggested to be associated as a risk factor for human health hazards as it can potentially affect numerous opioid receptors in the nervous, endocrine, and immune system. It's also known to be an oxidant of low dietary lipoproteins, and an oxidation of LDL is believed to be important in the formation of arterial plaque. Epidemiological evidences claim that the consumption of beta casein A1 milk is associated with risk factor for diabetes, coronary heart disease, arterial sclerosis, sudden infant death syndrome, autism, schizophrenia, a broad range of studies from American and European investigations has shown reduction in autistic and schizophrenic symptoms with the decrease in A1 milk intake. Further animal trials have also supported the linking of type 1 diabetes to milk exposure in general and A1 beta casein in particular. Populations which consume milk containing high levels of beta casein A2 variant had a lower incidence of cardiovascular disease and type 1 diabetes. The A1A2 hypothesis is both intriguing and potentially very important for public health if it's proved correct. It should be taken seriously and deeper research is needed to verify the range and nature of BCM7 interactions with the human gastrointestinal tract and whole organism. This requires more animal test trials and generation of data on human subjects having the problems related to A1, A2 beta casein milk consumption. Thousands of years ago, there was a genetic mutation in cows in Europe. This mutation made them produce a new type of beta casein protein, A1. Before this point, cows, just like humans and most mammals, produced milk strictly with the A2 beta casein protein. 
Over time, these European cows have been selectively bred and now in some cases genetically engineered into the white and black spotted Holstein cow. They made their way to the U.S., Australia, and New Zealand and now dominate the dairy industry. Basically, all milk found in American grocery stores is A1A2. Modern research shows that humans cannot fully digest the A1 beta casein protein and that it has an opiate effect on the body. In some cases, humans have developed chronic digestive problems from drinking A1A2 milk. Proline has a strong bond to a small protein called BCM7, which helps keep it from getting into the milk, so that essentially no BCM7 is found in the urine, blood, or GI tract of old-fashioned A2 cows. On the other hand, histidine, the mutated protein, only weakly holds on to the BCM7, so it is liberated in the GI tract of animals and humans who drink A1 cow milk. BCM7 has been shown to cause neurological impairment in animals and people exposed to it, especially autistic and schizophrenic changes. BCM7 interferes with the immune response, and injecting BCM7 in animal models has been shown to provoke type 1 diabetes. Dr. Woodford's book presents research showing a direct correlation between a population's exposure to A1 cow milk and the incidence of autoimmune disease, heart disease, type 1 diabetes, autism, and schizophrenia. By simply switching breeds of cows, we could result in amazing health benefits.